So that was the steel flag function. So we're going to check out score flag now. So a score flag is when you're carrying back the flag to your own block and you click it successfully and it's time to score the flag. So score flag takes two parameters. It takes team, uh, which is going to be either gold or blue, and it's going to it's going to take p name, which is who is trying to steal. So, um, as you can see, in score flag we have a if statement, and um, this if is uh, if else, and it says if team is equal to blue, and change blue score by one, else change gold score by one. And this is saying if team is blue, so if it's called here, if team is blue, increase blue score by one, and then score flag gold, uh, it's, it's gonna, that's going to be here. It's going to execute this line. It's going to change gold score by one because team is not blue. So after it does that, it's going to reset the flag, and we'll take a look at that. And it's going to broadcast message with a message. And uh, let's just fix this up a little bit because I noticed in game it was a little weird. So it's going to broadcast a message, which is a uh, create text with uh, the name... Uh, has captured the flag for the team team so that's either gonna be gold or blue team and then it's gonna send this score out to the players um, in the same fashion calling the same function so let's take a detour here and um, do uh, what we set out to do in the beginning videos, which was to add a win condition of five points. So let's uh, have another logic come out, another if statement, and come over here to logic again, uh, grab that block, and do a, let's see, yeah, let's do an equals. And we're going to say, let's grab a variable. And I just grab the first variable I can find because you can just change it right here. New variable, oh, actually not new variable. Um, if blue score is equal to five, and then let's add an else if. And the same thing, else if, whoops, else if gold score is equal to five. And let's make a new, let's see, let's just say broadcast message, and grab that, and just say broadcast the message, the blue team has one. And then in here, it would obviously be gold team. So now when a... Um, and let's actually move this below the resets and the other broadcasts, just so it's at the end and it's like the final thing. So um, that's all we had to add to add a win condition. Uh, it's not going to prevent players from playing further, but at least it says that the blue team is one or the gold team is one. Um, actually, we could uh, do uh, a reset of their scores. So if the blue team, at, uh, if someone wins, we can just reset the scores back to zero. How about that? So it's a zero to zero. And let's copy this and put it down there. Cool. Now let's take a look at reset flag function. The reset flag function takes the same parameter team that score flag took, and it's going to set a new drone. And based on the team, 
So if team is equal to gold, in the same fashion we did if team is equal to blue here, um, it's going to move drone to the blue flag location. Um, this should be... Whoa, why is this working? One second. Uh, I understand now. So if team is equal to gold, that means the gold team scored. So we're going to move D to the blue flag location because the gold team scores the blue flag. So that's why we're doing that. And um, we're going to move to there and place the block again, set the blue flag to safe, and uh, reset the blue flag holder. Just put it to zero. And then else, if it's the blue team, uh, we're going to reset the gold the gold flag in the gold flag spot. So let's just look at broadcast message to see um, how that works and all it is it's a I'm using this thing in uh, loops this block for each item J in list and then it takes a list so for each item player name in list gold team send message message to player name P name so it's just iterating over each team and sending a message to everyone who's in our game and so that's all the code um, so some things that you could um, let me pull up a notepad here um, some things that you could add could be, um, let's see, uh, instead of commands to join teams, uh, press buttons or buttons. so instead of typing that command, you could just create a kind of pre grit pre-game arena where the players could uh, press a button to join a team. You can add um, uh, add power-ups to each team. So let's say if you're if you're down by three, maybe you get some monsters that uh, go aggressive towards the other team. Or Maybe there could just be monsters that spawn after every score, and the number of monsters that spawn is equal to both teams' score combined. So when it's near the end of the game, a lot of monsters spawn. Um, other things that you could add is you could maybe enhance the arena a little bit. Uh, it's a it's a plain arena right now, but you could have some more obstacles in the arena. Um, or you could even build a pre-generated arena, build a castle maybe, and uh, don't use the world that it commands, um, and just play in the castle. Let me write that down, better arena. And let's see, you could do um, a lot of things with this mini game. Um, I'm sure you can probably think of a lot of things. Oh, one thing that I uh, caught was that if... Uh, Let's see, what happens when flag holder dies? So if I'm holding a flag and I die, I lose my items. And uh, that means I lose the flag um, in my helmet slot, but um, I'm still the flag holder variable. My name is still the flag holder variable, so I can still score the flag. So that's not um, probably not an intended feature. So that would be something that you have to think about. You'd probably have to patch that. That's a bug. Um, yeah. So I think there's a good list of things that you could uh, remix this plugin with. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.